Hey, 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 Gemini, this is Just Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, January 23rd to the 24th Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. I think I just saw an R began. This saw one when Leo's reading. This may not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Please also know that energy and time are fluid, so feel free to switch up the roles as you deem necessary. And know that this could be past, present, or future. All right, Gemini. Let's see what's going on for you. Ooh. Okay. Let me get some cards here. And then, wow, I'm going to get a message from Spirit and then continue with the reading. So you have Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. So let's see what message Spirit has for you. <laughs> temporary heartache is what you may some of you may be experiencing but know that this is only temporary and this is needed <laughs> that's my dog Ted eating a bone and burping this is to clear your field and make room for the path of your true love. The love that you are coming from before you meet this person, before this person comes into your life. I can put this. It's like your field, I don't know, I'm, I'm just feeling like mud, like like quicksand, like you're sinking, sinking, sinking. So whatever relationship that you're coming from, I'm feeling like you felt like you were sinking. Some of you sinking into a depression, a, de a depressive state, a five of cups feeling. But you needed to like go all the way into the darkness in order to shoot back into the light. Which will feel so much better. It, it, it'll actually feel better because you've experienced that much darkness, right? You've, you've gotten that down. That when you finally shoot into the light, um you're going to feel so uplifted. Your, your energy is just going to lift up. You're going to truly feel like it's a miracle because of the state that you're coming from. It's, it's like two extremes, like yin and yang, right? Okay. Let's see what's going on here, Gemini. Yeah, definite heartbreak here with the Three of Swords and Ten of Swords. Somebody could have betrayed you. Somebody could have betrayed your trust, stabbed you in the back. And it's like I'm feeling you had no choice but to walk away. I feel like you gave this person chance after chance after chance. And you just couldn't anymore and you had to walk away. But that wasn't the only reason. Not from what I'm feeling here. With this Ace of Wands here, okay, the, you knew what you were walking into. You were walking into a passion, a direction of your heart in a different way, a love of something. This could have to do with career. This could have to do with, um, could even be a hobby, a pastime, something that was driving you forward and actually giving you energy because because of this low vibration of energy that you are coming from, 
It's like you needed this to get you through. So let's clarify some of this. Tell me about this Three of Swords, please. Queen of Cups. This could have been a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that betrayed your trust, broke your heart. Sadness. Very much so. Clarify this Queen of Cups. They also became, yeah, it could have been, they could have had Leo in their chart, but they were very egoic, emotionally just closed off in the end. I don't know if they were with, had this emotional sort of blankness. That's what I'm feeling, like no emotion, but an ego that went through the roof. And that's one of the reasons I feel that they betrayed you was because of this ego. It's like they wanted to be seen. They need to be validated over and over again. So you validating them over and over because I feel like you, you felt this egoic need that they had and you tried to feed it, but it wasn't enough. So you couldn't do anything more, Gemini. You couldn't do anything more. It's it's an insecurity within them, which is the reason why they need this constant feeding of the ego. Okay, so tell me about this Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups. This is when you found out you were just an option. Okay. Yeah, Four of Wands. You could have been married to this person. This could also be in the past. And I'm talking about this issue um, in order to lead on up to the future. For some of you, it was the past. But you were very hurt. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. What was the final straw? Cheating. Yep, this is the liar cheater. Stealer. Right? Seven of Swords. That was the last straw. It was like proof. I feel like your intuition knew but you stayed and then something it was just the last you know a person can only take so much tell me about this ace of wands though yep a new cycle this is exactly what you needed and I feel like you're in this now this is actually what got you through this passion of yours that you knew you were going to begin and I don't feel like you started this passion um, not in this way with this other person like I said, it could have been an ex-husband, ex-wife, or the ex was at least somebody you were committed to for a while. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands. So I'm done with this heartbreak stuff. Yep. This is healing. This is a wish. This got you through the healing. This is the card of Aquarius. This is hope. This is what gave you hope. Your passion. Your passion lied in your heart and still does and I feel that you're on your way you're going to be traveling soon you're going to be traveling soon five of pentacles and the lovers hmm I think some of you started a relationship after this ended You got over this Five of Pentacle energy pretty quickly. I feel, I, I almost feel like you got over it before you even left because you knew it was coming. So it was like this, this passion really did a lot for your healing. I think it, it still is. Tell me about this lovers. Who is this lover? Let's see who this lover is. I don't know if this is, hmm. Nine of Wands. Okay, if you got involved with somebody after this other individual, you were guarded because of what happened. Understandable. Tell me more. Did this is this still is this still going on? Oh God. Knight of Wands. Okay. I'm gonna clarify this. I wanted to know if this relationship is still existing now. Waiting. 
Knight of Wands is the player energy. It is Aries Leo Sagittarius. So some of you could have gotten right back into a similar situation. But I think you were more prepared this time. Well, you were guarded. So it was like, I don't think you went all in because of this guardedness, because of this sort of almost expectation of the worst. Oops. The magician. You tried to manifest something with this person. What is it? Okay. I process. It could have been a twin flame. You do have the four of wands here, which is the 1111 card. So that you, this could be a twin flame. They could have been holding a secret. What did they, what's the secret? What were they hiding? Oh, geez. The truth, ace of swords. What's this? Justice, another twin flame card of mine. And four of cups. Rejection balance. I don't feel like this person was balanced. I feel like they were hiding some sort of truth from you. Clarity. There was no clarity in this relationship. Where is this uh, Where is this relationship now? Where is it now? Yep. Five of Cups. Um, depression, regrets. How does um, Oh my God. How do you feel about this relationship now, this person, Gemini? Hmm. Three of Cups. Some of you could be hoping for a reunion. How does this person feel about you? They think the same thing with the Judgment card. But what is this person's intention? What is this person's intention? What is this person's intention? Ah, to hold back, Four of Pentacles. Well, wait a minute, clarify this Four of Pentacles. Oh, geez. Could be holding on to you. King of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Cups. You are their dream and their wish. This is fate, destiny, if you do get back together. Okay, they want the truth. But this Four of Pentacles, I almost feel like they're covering their heart. They're holding their heart. They're blocking their heart. They're holding on to something there. Can this person be trusted? Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. Clarify. Can this person be trusted? Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn cards. Could be a Capricorn. Well, this is saying yes. Two yes cards there. So what should you expect from this person in the near future? This will not resonate with everybody. What should you expect in the future? An offer, page of pentacles, a message. What will this, what will it be? Uh, what kind of offer? What kind of offer? What kind of offer? Whoops. None flipped over, wait a minute. What kind of offer are they going to be offering to Gemini? Commitment. This is a Taurus card. This is higher spiritual connection. This is definitely a twin. Higher spiritual connection. They're offering you commitment, uh, di divinity, di divine connection there. Okay. What's your advice? Oh, this is a long one. The Empress, growth, expand. I feel like Spirit saying expand, keep expanding, because I feel like you are. You are, you're creating something. Expand, know your worth as well, I'm feeling from this card. Because I, you know, it's interesting, the Page of Pentacles, I get irritated sometimes at pages. Yes, it can be cute, romantic offer, but on the scale of what I'm reading here, it's like, ugh, Expect emperor status, right? Or at least king. Um, to get a page, you know, this could be just a message, just an, a, a little offer. And then, you know, the big gesture or the big offer will come later. I just don't like the feeling of this. I think you're worth more than that, Gemini. Okay? So know your worth definitely with the empress. Okay, Gems. I hope you resonated with that reading.
Not everybody will. So don't make it fit if it doesn't. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. And don't forget to comment below. Let me know if this resonates. Check out also your mid-monthly reading that goes from January 15th to the 31st. Have a good day, gems, and I will talk to you tomorrow.